A woodpecker is a wonderful bird which digs holes in trees, but interesting would be to ask, can a woodpecker keep on digging until a tree falls? Let's hope it's not a beaver, but a woodpecker. Researchers think the bird can do this magical job. A woodpecker takes about three to six weeks for pecking a hole in the tree for living, depending upon the girth and type of the tree. For accomplishing this task, one has to show a lot of perseverance. Be assured the woodpecker has ample patience. If a woodpecker makes a poor choice of pecking a hole in an old or rugged tree, it'll really get his patience tested for quite a long time. On the other hand, if the tree is soft and fresh, mission would be accomplished much earlier and even result in the falling of the tree. The question arises, why not stop instead of constantly hammering on the tree? Well guys, it's too simple because he doesn't know that tree is going to fall. The woodpecker can keep on striking on the wood for any other surface even for its entire life. Don't be surprised, I really mean that it can keep on going for its complete life. Let's discover the logic behind this assertion. First and foremost, need of any living being is related to food, so you need to know how woodpeckers look for food. Several insects, their eggs and larvae hide under the tree bark. Constant pecking into the tree helps the woodpecker to discover its prey, whom it grabs with a long tongue and enjoys the food. In this regard, the woodpecker can rival anteaters. There can be another important purpose of occupying alternative territory and building a nesting site. We hope now you understand why the woodpecker can keep on hammering consistently as it requires to find food first. The next requirement of a young woodpecker is that of finding a girlfriend which forces him to make a new nest. One needs to look for a new tree to make a new nest. You may imagine that the woodpecker just can't stop at any stage. It really doesn't relate to opening a complete pack of chips even when you don't need it or feel any appetite. However, things for woodpeckers are much different and serious. Somewhere on the internet, I got information that some sort of hormonal disruption during mating season makes the woodpecker crazy. Therefore, it keeps on hammering the tree relentlessly. The purpose behind this exercise is to attract a female. Males may keep on drumming the wood until they die of exhaustion. Be careful, it's an exception to the rule, but not a general phenomenon. Maybe it's someone's wild imagination. Just see this most common woodpecker who has Red Bull. Surely we're not talking about the energy drink. It's a pileated woodpecker with a body length reaching 1.6 feet. Quite reasonable to assume that a big bird requires corresponding big holes for building a nest. It may also find a lot more insects in the tree as well. Really, it takes a lot of hard work. Keeping in view the diligence, a tough beaver would be immensely glad to have a pileated woodpecker in his team. With such an unprecedented skill, one can dare to build a dam across the English Channel. The woodpecker uses only one weapon which is always effective in his struggle for the successful life, its elongated beak. You may be much interested to know how woodpecker keeps its beak sharp. It's similar to sharpening the blade of a common axe or kitchen knife. In fact, we're discussing the metal implements. A kitchen knife needs to be sharpened once every three weeks, whereas duration for other instruments may vary. In some cases, you may not require to sharpen at all. Certainly, woodpeckers don't possess metallic or aluminium beaks which can be sharpened conventionally. To help the bird so that it doesn't require to invent a sharpening stone or metal, nature has bestowed a unique beak which doesn't require sharpening at all. These are just self-sharpening. Each attempt of pecking on the wood both sharpens and grinds the beak. Doesn't seem logical? Well, woodpeckers have been living like that for a long time. Scientists estimate 25 million years. Woodpeckers have been doing this for many, many, many years. Just remember that the beaks of woodpeckers keep on growing constantly throughout their lives, like the teeth of beavers. Some beavers may lose teeth and have the ability to grow saber-cat-like fangs, but that doesn't hold equally well for woodpeckers. The life of woodpeckers is all about consistency and hammering against different types of surfaces. Actually, continuous hammering on the trees makes the beak dull, but again, it naturally grows back. In this regard, the beak resembles and works like human nails rather than teeth. Nature has provided many cells in the larder. Scientists believe that woodpeckers have been hammering their beaks for about 25 million years. Whatever the case, they have a mechanism to sharpen these on their own. They would have improved their level of grinding to the next level with all this practice. It must have been useful. They may have attained the ability to strike so hard that they can crack a hole in the tough shell of a turtle, but it could just be a wild guess as woodpeckers don't feed on turtles. The stiffness of a turtle shell is so enormous and it raises some interesting queries. 
who could actually pierce through it. Maybe some beasts like alligators could be successful. It needs to apply enormous strength and a lot of time. But not sure as many times the predator has to give up after an effort of 15 minutes. Ah, oh, forget it. I abhor tasting snacks in such petty packages. The alligator presses the turtle with immense force without giving quick, accurate blows. Possibly a woodpecker might have a chance due to the long time experience. Interesting to know that even a car cannot crack a turtle shell. During 2016, a car in Florida ran over a turtle, pushing it back with such a force that it landed on the windscreen of a car following closely behind it. It smashed the glass, pierced through it, bouncing off the passenger seat. It hit on the dashboard, but despite all this, it survived. Astonishingly, it didn't even suffer a minor injury. Subsequently, it was released to its natural habitat. In my opinion, perhaps the woodpecker doesn't have a chance to damage the turtle shell. It's also interesting to note that at times, woodpeckers prefer iron surfaces over the turtle. Nothing surprising here, however, woodpeckers adore hitting metal surfaces as they can create much louder sounds. They seem to love louder noises as they use these to establish their claims on more land. In addition, it also provides opportunities for being more assertive and dominant to other woodpeckers, particularly to the females. It said that one woodpecker was so carried away with the idea that it didn't shy to use a loudspeaker to announce his predominance. Scientifically speaking, the woodpecker must be having a perpetual headache, not only by living in a constant noise in the surroundings, but also due to banging his head constantly against the wood and other surfaces. Some of you just thinking about this situation may lead to a condition of a migraine. Woodpeckers are very rapid in their movements. They hit, immediately stop, and again start hitting. It just seems like a racing car which suddenly accelerates, bangs against the wall, and keeps on repeating it continuously. Its impact is going to be so devastating that humans would die on the spot if they were doing it. We could understand this with the help of certain scientific figures. G-force is of universal value and is equally expressed in units of standard gravitational acceleration, that is, IEG. A woodpecker hitting on a tree experiences approximately 14,000 G. On the other hand, a human being can sustain or handle a force of 8 G. Increase in the force will start worsening the individual's condition. Application of force amounting to 50 G will result in detachment of most of our body organs, mixing and leading to a condition where survival is impossible. The person who has withstood at maximum G-force in today's world is John Stapp, aka the fastest person on the planet Earth. During 1954, he reached a speed of 632 miles per hour, which is still considered to be the maximum speed arrived on land. During the experiment, the overload force was 46.2 G, which is much closer to lethal. The astonishing query is, when man cannot sustain such a low force, then how does the woodpecker handle it all the time and survive? Let's go through its dynamics. There are a few important aspects that relate to it. First of all, the size of the woodpecker's brain is quite small. It implies that there is less chance of it getting damaged. Secondly, the brain fits tightly into the skull. The brain doesn't wobble back and forth when the bird resorts to continuous jackhammering movements. Thirdly, outside of the woodpecker's skull is made of dense material, whereas inside it's much more porous. This configuration of the bird's skull ensures that during pecking activity, force is distributed all along the skull and keeps the pressure off the brain. So, the woodpecker has been bestowed with an intricate membrane around the eyes. To protect the eye from wood pieces, this membrane closes the eyes just split seconds before the beak hammers the wood. In addition, it also safeguards the eyes from falling out. The blessings haven't stopped there. The long tongue of the woodpecker has a bone which facilitates it in extracting the insects hidden in the tree bark. This unique tongue is wrapped around the skull and finally anchored at the front between the eyes. This strange configuration makes the tongue and its bone function like a spring, which depletes the physical force and accompanying vibrations. In other words, we can claim that woodpeckers hold their brains with the help of their tongues. Well, in this case, nature seems so weird. So far, scientists are not confident about the impact of the woodpecker's lifestyle on its brain. Keeping in mind the fact that woodpeckers have been around for many, many years, what other opinion can they have? Well, the same phenomenon cannot be applied in the case of man, because continued concussion definitely leads to brain diseases. Damage so often is irreversible. Disorders caused by brain damage leads to issues like memory loss, thinking, depression, aggression in behavior, and ultimately resulting in dementia. One cannot say with authority that how much injuries are required to finally result in this condition. However, doctors need to analyze the situation carefully to identify the symptoms. 
It's quite safe to say that woodpeckers are fortunate enough as to have been protected from confronting such a situation. But you must know who suffers the most from their hammering. That's the tree. It's astonishing that at times woodpeckers are carried away by their emotions and they continue with hammering, which inflicts unbearable loss on the live trees. Healthy trees can withstand and manage minor damage caused by the bird unless leaves and branches become girdleless. The preaching of trees takes place when they become targets of a special species of woodpecker. One of these is the pileated woodpecker, which at times becomes too crazy in the search of insects in the tree bark. I hope you've understood the concept. Most reassuring is the fact that trees can recover from the damage. However, its process is quite different from how the human body heals a wound. Trees are not capable of replacing or repairing the damaged tissues. Rather, they try to isolate the affected tissues and area. A membrane covers the damaged tissues like a bandage to prevent interference by insects, whereas other living tissues keep on growing. Someday, some woodpecker may come and start repeating the hammering process. I'm sure our video would have been informative and interesting. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you later.